In the same vein, um, the Department of Energy controls much of the nuclear world in the United States, as you know. Uh, and you are famously in favor of restarting nuclear as a power generating source. Um, my observation about nuclear was that every plant was different. The human factors were a disaster. Uh, whenever the alarms go off, all the alarms go off at once. The, the, these accidents are very, very serious and obviously can be used to fear monger and so forth. So a, a credible argument says that we haven't yet figured out a way to build in volume nuclear reactors for, safe, for production. Another set of arguments has to do with the safety inherent with the way in which we do nuclear power. And then another set of arguments has to do with nuclear fuel storage, which as far as I can tell is an unsolved problem. So without those as your obstacles, why are you calling for, mm -hmm. for an increase, if you will, from the current zero rate of production of nuclear power plants? Because I think all of them are solvable uh, and many of them have been solved. Um, safety, the newer designs of nuclear reactors are going towards what we call passively safe. Uh, if you lose, con passive, totally passively safe is the goal, you lose complete control of the reactor and gravity feeds uh, down into the cooling so you don't need... Literally the water is above, the, not below, that's, and, that's and water drains and puts that's the... Correct. Or, the or, the or the design is such that it will never actually get a, in a meltdown condition. Um, so there's the safety issue. The waste issue uh, is something that, it, again, I think is, is solvable. Have uh, you visited Yucca Mountain yet? Uh, no, I haven't visited Yucca Mountain. Uh, but the whole Yucca Mountain history, uh, sadly, was very heavily politicized. But, but what we're going to do is we're going to start a blue ribbon panel that will look at the entire nuclear question okay. all over again from scratch, uh, based on what we know today is versus what we knew 25 years ago. There, we're only we're using less than 1% of the energy content of the uranium we mine. Uh, and so there's depleted uranium that's just building up. And out of the 5% enriched uranium, we, only, we use 4% of that, but the, the rest of it is now reactor waste. And so we would like to design things so that we can go much more significantly into that just 1%. It wouldn't be great if we can use 30, 40%. Wouldn't it be great if you can uh, have a way to burn down the long of actinides to reduce the problem from a hundreds of thousands of year storage problem to a, a, a few hundred year problem and greatly reduce the waste. So there are a bunch of new ideas out there that we want to try. This is a long term R&D program. But in the meantime, I'm pretty confident we can get there. But we do want to start because it's quite frankly, it's it's carbon free base load power. And, you know, eventually, Yes, we want to get to renewables, but remember, uh, sometimes the wind stops blowing, the sun stops shining. So, so given that, and if you look at where we are in today's coal technology and where we are in today's nuclear technology, I, I, I you would, would favor. You would favor fixing these nuclear issues.